So looking at my John Deere 216 here, I'm loving this thing a lot. This thing runs great, cuts great. However, there was one minor issue that uh, was a little irritating. For some reason, that seat is as far back as it will go, and it's a tight fit. And I'm not a real big guy, but a friend of mine who is much larger than I am says there's just no way he can be comfortable with the steering wheel presses on parts that he doesn't want being pressed on. So I think what I'm going to do, if you look underneath, you'll see that slides, and it's already slid all the way back. I'm wondering though, if I flip those brackets upside down, if I can get that seat to move further back. So let's give that a try. And I'm gonna take the seat off first and we've got a 9 16 uh, wrench to do that. Wires. Let's take a closer look at this. Alright, that was easy enough. Alright, so let's take a look at the bottom of the seat here. You've got several holes to choose from. That's the seat sensor which I'm pretty sure has been disconnected anyway. And here are the brackets. Broken bolt there. I don't know, something's not right. <laughs> I was thinking about just flipping this upside down, but I know that... I really feel like it's supposed to slide down there, but all the way back, it's still too close. I wonder if I reverse these this way, and we'll see what happens. All right, so it's a little dark in this room, but here's my other John Deere 216, or one of them. And this is the seat that's on this one. And I'm gonna measure the distance here. We'll see. We'll take this seat off and we're going to find out what the difference is between this seat and the one that I'm struggling with on the other 216. All right, so I grabbed a couple of seats off of the other 216s that I have. All three of these seats came off of three different 216s. This is the one I'm working on right now that was just way too close to the steering wheel. And if you take a look at the mounting, you'll see that the the mounting bracket there sticks out in front on both of those but you can't see it there and I would explain why this seat just sits so far forward the way it lines up with the holes and I mean there's only one place whereas let's take a look at the underside of these now let me flip them completely over here so there are all of the seats you see the brackets are the same the mounting brackets but again from this angle you see that that is 
sticking out in front of the edge of that seat. Whereas this one, not so much. So that would explain why that, which is the newest of all the seats, just sits so much more forward toward the steering wheel. So what I think I'm gonna do is replace the, um, <laughs> replace this seat with one of these. And that one's a little bit rusty, but the advantage that that one has that this one doesn't is there actually holes here for water runoff if the thing is left out in the rain. But that one's a much nicer condition. I mean, none of them are perfect. There's a little rip up there. But you know what? I think I'm going to go with that one. And then this one here, eventually I'm going to modify it. What I think I'll do is I'm going to add some length. These these threaded holes in here, they really can't be moved. But if I add some material to this and extend it out, and then re-drill some holes, that would do it. But that is for another video. So let's get to... Putting that one on the 216. Now, as mentioned earlier, underneath is a metal bracket that you'll see as I'm turning this, that metal bracket moves. And unfortunately, this one is kind of broken off. There might be a little bit. But in order to get at that, you pretty much have to take this whole fender mechanism off because the fuel tank underneath is in the way. You can't reach under there. But let's uh, let's just put the seat on and get to her. I do believe And these bolts, you'll see our shoulder bolts. We got that shoulder, right? <laughs> the trick is to line them up this way. started. So now we can slide this way back. A lot more space here. And we use a 9 16 wrench to tighten those up. It's coming, it's coming.
Slow going. This, this one on the front is broken off, so we're just going to have to deal with this one. Pretty sure the seat switch doesn't work anymore, but I'm gonna plug it in anyway. There we go. The new seat is in place. There you go. Now it's gonna be a lot more comfortable. Because the space here is uh, is not going to be rubbing you in the wrong places, so there it is. A little seat information, probably more seat information about these two 16s than you wanted to know. All right, thanks for watching.